Okay, so I just got back from having lunch from this restaurant it's called Taqueria Habaneros in DC, uh, Mexican place. The tacos are delicious. If you're in the DC area, I highly recommend it. The food is very affordable and just amazing. So now I have to clean up the Airbnb. And quite honestly, I feel like taking a nap, but I just wanna get this out of the way. So let's get started. Okay, so I am in the B&B and I am getting ready to start cleaning. Um, I like to get things kind of prepped before I start. So I'll just walk around and show you some of the things I have um, prepared to get started with my cleaning. So <laughs> this is one thing, this is a YouTuber. Uh, her channel is How Jen Does It. She does like a ton of cleaning videos. I know it sounds strange, but I really like to watch cleaning videos or at least listen to them while I'm cleaning. Um, I have like my cleaning supplies and just like some clean linen. I'm prepared to go. I got some, I don't know if you can see it in there, but like the hotel shampoo, conditioner, and soap in here um, and the B&B really doesn't get super dirty um, but nevertheless like I still have to go through and wipe things down so it is like really clean for our guests so I'll show you what that looks like um, once I'm done um, oh I forgot to show you the bathroom the bathroom I always feel like the bathroom takes me the longest because even though it doesn't look super dirty like the hair that people leave behind is it's, it just gets everywhere and it's just kind of gross so <laughs> I definitely don't want to leave hair behind for our next guest so okay now I'm really gonna get started cleaning okay so I am done cleaning the B&B &B, and I will walk you through what I have done so this is the bathroom, which, like I said before, it was not that dirty, but I still have to wipe things down and make sure that um, there's not hair everywhere. Um, I always wipe down that trash can. <laughs> and I also like to wipe down the, the uh, metal fixtures so that they're all sparkly. Um, this is our bathtub. Um, this is the little dining area. Um, again, just wipe that down, change the trash. <laughs> uh, there's like a little coffee station. I have to make sure that the coffee filter, um, well, the coffee maker, I have to make sure that that's clean and that there is coffee in there. And we also have granola for our guests, like granola cereal. And that was completely empty. I was like, did our last guest just take the rest of the granola? Uh, probably not we were running low <laughs> uh, this is like our little toast oven microwave and a mini fridge for our guests I text my husband to ask him to go to the store and get some milk for us because we're out um, and some apples for our guests we have a futon here and like a little couch um, the coffee table always stays over here just so that our guests have more walking room um, this is the bedroom and a desk for them to write at. We also have a little guest book over here and um, just little instructions. My husband named it the B&B, the Fig and Holly. So that's the name for the, the attic B&B and the bed. So that is pretty much it um, for the B&B. I'm happy that it's done. And I also went ahead today and um, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> I use this virtual assistant service called Fancy Hands. And I'd mentioned earlier today that, you know, maybe I should hire somebody to clean the B&B. &B. And some of the days I can do it, but other days it's just like I would rather continue to work on my business and not stop <laughs> and clean up the B&B. &B. So I email fancy hands and I was like hey could you find me a cleaning service that can clean up short-term rentals so got the ball rolling on that but anyway so that's our B&B &B. thank you for watching bye